Now, the EFF is the first of the country's three biggest political parties to launch its manifesto. The Red Berets hope to fill the over 56,000-seater Moses Mabida Stadium at the, as the party's leader outlines the EFF's promises to South Africans ahead of this year's general elections. Let's bring you some insight on what's happening on the ground. Our reporter, Junior Kumalo, is outside the stadium and joins us to give us an update on the party's readiness to host this event. Junior, a very good morning to you. The EFF is preparing to pay it. Moses Mabida Stadium red. As you take a look at uh, the level of preparedness, what are you taking note of? Uh, very good morning to you, Mpo, and to our viewers. Uh, the EFF seems to be ready uh, to host this manifesto launch at the Moses Mapida Stadium. Uh, there's a lot of security around the stadium itself. The EFF's own internal security as well as SAPS officials have started arriving. Um, but also the supporters of the EFF, um, it's a sea of red uh, in this place. I'm just going to step out of camera and just ask my colleague Uluyanda just to show you the numbers of EFF supporters as they walk into the stadium. Uh, we know that the gates were expected to open at around 7 o'clock, so the gates should have been opened by now. But the one thing that the EFF has to contend with right now is actually the weather. Um, it's very windy at, in Durban, and the rain is also, uh, it started drizzling right now. So those are some of the challenges that the EFF has to contend with um, as it gets ready to host this manifesto launch uh, today. Uh, so those are some of the challenges that the EFF has to contend with. There are a lot of buses uh, that have uh, started busing in uh, EFF supporters. Uh, and the EFF promised that they will not bring in any supporters from other provinces. It's just going to be individuals actually from KZN who are going to make the majority of the 56,000 uh, individuals that are going to be in this uh, stadium poll. And we know that, uh, Junior, all of this comes right on the back of the EFF uh, uh, having failed a court bid insofar as attending the State of the Nation address is concerned. So we really haven't heard much reaction on what the EFF's views are on the back of the President's uh, State of the Nation address. What are the expectations uh, when it comes to some of the main issues that the EFF uh, will be looking at as they launch this election manifesto? Uh, indeed, the EFF was not at the State of the Nation address on Thursday. Um, six of its members, including the President Julius Malema, were barred from attending those proceedings. We know that last year they disrupted uh, the State of the Nation address as they tried to storm the stage while the President was delivering uh, the SONA 2023. So they were barred from attending uh, this year's proceedings. They tried to launch a last-minute bid uh, at the Western Cape High Court, and that failed. So we know that the EFF leader, Julius Malema, is likely to address that matter today uh, and suggest that the ANC basically did not want them in uh, to attend that last uh, State of the Nation address of the sixth administration because they uh, did not want to be held accountable. The EFF still has an opportunity actually to respond to all the promises that were made by the President uh, next week. We know that there are two days that have been set aside for opposition parties basically to engage the President on the promises that he made. But today, speaking about uh, what the EFF leader is expected uh, to address, we know that the country has been plunged again into stage six load shedding uh, as from today. So he's likely to touch on that and speak about the failings of this sixth administration as it draws into a close. Um, he's also expected to just speak about the EFF's own strategy leading up to these all-important election campaigns. We know that they are hosting it here in Guazulu Natal because uh, this is expected to be a hotly contested province as we are joined by some of the EFF supporters. Uh, Sanbona, why did you decide to come and uh, attend this uh, uh, manifesto launched by the EFF? <laughs>
Siabonga, fight. Siabonga. Those are some of the young people that are here to listen to the EFF president, Julius Malema, saying that they want to hear him address the issue of load shedding as well as jobs, unemployment in South Africa. We know that the youth are the most unemployed in the country. So those are some of the expectations from the South Africans that are pouring in here in Port. Very well. Uh, a lot of young South Africans really um, looking for change. Junior Kumaru, giving us a sense of the atmosphere ahead of the election manifesto by the EFFs.